Hey, we're here at the International Roofing Expo in Las Vegas, and we're actually on the hunt for some of the most innovative products. Come check it out. Hey, I'm here at IRE with Steve Patrick, roofhawk.ai. Hey, Steve, talk to me about what does this, what problem does this solve for contractors? So a lot of contractors, they may want to hire somebody that's afraid to get up on a roof. Let's say the 50 year old woman who's a great salesman, but she, no way she can see herself getting up on a roof. Mm -hmm. So she can fly a drone, take four pictures, north, south, east, and west, take Think the card out, plug it into the, to the uh, pigtail of your oh, iPad. And in five minutes, you get a report back on the iPad that looks like this. And it has all the hill hits marked, or mm. all the wind damage marked, automatically within five minutes. Mm. Awesome. And so then you go back to the property owner, and you show them the damage on the roof. You zoom in so they can actually see the hell strikes, whether it's residential, commercial, multifamily, whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. and, um, and they want to copy the report. And you say, well, I have a DocuSign I'm going to send you. This is interesting. There's the wind damage. The wind damage. I have a DocuSign I'm going to send you. Yep. Fill out the DocuSign. Now they've just hired you. And then you send the report. So you mm. hold the report hostage. It's like a carrot. Right? Once you sign up with me, I'll send you a copy of the report. Ah. And send your adjuster a copy of the report. So when the adjuster's coming out to take a look at the property, it's already set expectations to, to they're going to expect to see this amount of damage. Mm. And their mindset has been set. They're expecting to see damage. All right. What? So it's AI. True so, artificial intelligence. Okay. So it tell takes me. Five minutes to get a report. Yep. If, if your Wi-Fi speed is is fast. Okay. What What is the AI really doing? Obviously, like last few years, everyone's trying to do stuff with AI. What is this AI really? What is it doing behind the scenes, if you could explain a little bit of it? Sure, I actually do that. Yeah. So I've been in the roofing industry 28 years. I've been on well over 10,000 roofs inspecting them. So I know what storm damage looks like. Yeah. One would hope, yeah. right? And so I go into our audit center and big screen TV and we'll pull up a report with all these hail hits circled. And I'll say, that's not hail, that's not hail. Those are false positives. Mm -hmm. Don't mark those. You and feed you feed that miss back this. into the AI. Yes, and you yeah. miss this hell strike, mark that one. Yep. AI just learned, yep. and it's incremental. So we've gone from 70 to 85% accurate. Our goal is 95% accurate. And I would say the average professional that's up on a roof with their eyeballs is maybe 85% accurate. And you guys were kind of ahead of the AI trend, really. Correct. What, how long we started three around? years ago when, yeah. AI, when people were just starting to hear a little bit about AI, now yep. it's everywhere. Yep, and probably giving you guys a little bit more buzz and traction. No question. The consumer is very intrigued by drones. I mean, if you have a professional drone, like this, this can one, work with any away. drone, right? We're giving this one away here okay. at the show. So, if, And this is a DJI Mini. Yeah. If, if they see that you have a professional drone and you're gonna use AI, the consumer is very intrigued by the technology as opposed to the guy with the ladder and a piece of chalk. This works with any kind of drone though? Yes. That's well, amazing. you have to have a 10 megapixel camera. Okay. So there has to be adequate resolution to get a good, the better the resolution, I mean, it's common sense. The better the resolution, the better the outcome on the report. Awesome. And what would you say price point? If you could give us some sense of like, is this expensive? Like, is this pretty so what cost do you, effective? What do you think a report like this should run? I don't know. I don't want to offend you. Because I, I maybe I mean, for what do you think? maybe for me fifty bucks. Fifty bucks. Yeah. Wait, what do you think, Jack? I don't know. Maybe a hundred. Ten dollars. Wow. All right. Ten dollars. That's very cost. Talk effective. about yeah. a no-brainer. So let's say that you have a rookie salesman and he goes out and he has to do five reports before he gets a client to sign up. What's your cost of client acquisition? Fifty bucks. Okay. Yeah. 50 bucks for your cost yeah. of client acquisition. Okay. You tell me where you can get a roof client for 50 bucks. No, it's pretty you're, good you're, deal. Yeah, yeah. Hook. Oh, yeah. Hook agency. Yeah, we help people get leads and business, and it's certainly- 50 bucks. Yes, a good average across all of our clients. It's like 200 something, right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it takes money. Um, certainly, 
in this particular case, you're, you've got different types of applications, right? It could be um, people doing door to door. It could be a lead from Google. It could be anywhere, right? Imit imitate the genius about door to door. Yeah. When they're at the door, you're holding the drone in your hand. Yeah. And it looks professional. You can tell it's not a toy. Yeah. And say, we're doing a damage assessment on every house in the Greyhawk subdivision. It takes me about five to 10 minutes to, do, to fly the drone over your house. Would you like to come and watch me do this? And you don't even, you turn around, you walk to the front of the house. Yeah. And they're following you to watch you fly the drone. Ah, I like your pitch. That's an easy one. It's what, 10 seconds? Yeah. It's also kind of like, if you're not getting up on the roof in that situation, because I'm, I've argued- You're not getting up on the roof. I've argued both sides of this point before, but if you're not getting up on the roof, you can't cause more damage. Eventually, and, and sometimes correctly. Yeah, sometimes homeowners are- you're not are, risking life and limb. Yep. Your, your worker's comp rates for the company plummets. Yeah because you don't have a guy up on the roof, you have someone standing on the driveway flying a drone. I have had, okay, sorry, I'm gonna ask the hard questions here at the end. You can tell me to edit this out if you'd like. <laughs> I have had some people say, like two of companies we were serving went, actually I think it might've been two or three, went into a friend of mine's house to do a roof inspection. Sure. One of them threw up a drone and one of them got up on the roof. Yeah. And they, that particular homeowner, wanted the person that got up on the roof. Do you think that that's just a matter of like, we're gonna have to train homeowners to think differently about roof inspections? Oh, you just got different kinds of people that yeah. have different expectations. Yeah. We find that people love the technology and they're very intrigued. They see that it's a professional mm -hmm. drone and not a toy. Yeah. And you're talking about using artificial intelligence and you're gonna have the report back in yeah. five to 10 minutes. They know that a human being isn't marking that stuff and uploading yeah. it in five to 10 minutes. That's real AI. So that that's, I guess, the way you present, I'm not getting up on the roof. Correct. Hey, that's because this drone and AI technology is gonna do a better job than even like the naked eye would Correct. do. So well, you essentially need to position it the right way. So a 10 megapixel camera is better than all of our rights. Yeah. Now they have 25 megapixel cameras on the Autel yeah. drones. Yeah. 20, I mean, talk about resolution. I also think that there's gonna be a time where the technology is going under the surface and like catching, like let's say there's broken decking or things like that. Like there's gonna be, a, it's not that far off where we're gonna be under the surface, right? If eyeballs can see it, cameras can see it, AI can see it. Yeah. If eyeballs can't see it, and probably cameras can't see it and AI can't see it. Mm. All right, Steve, thank you for uh, saying what's up. All right, Tim, very and good seeing you what's again. The, is it just roofhawk.ai? Yeah, roofhawk.ai. All right, check that out, y'all. Look better leave.